If I have your attention for the next 60 seconds, you will learn something about concurrency versus parallelism. Most developers don't know the difference between concurrent and parallel executions, and let me tell you what that means. The tasks that you see over here are concurrent. The reason for this is because all of them are never running parallelly at a given time. So you see that I can draw these lines and every single line is never touching two tasks together. But at the same time, if I have to draw these lines, I cannot do that without two tasks touching each other at any given time. So these three tasks are running parallelly, but these all these tasks are running concurrently. Now languages like JavaScript, which are single threaded, do not support parallelism at all in their main thread. That means even if you're running JavaScript on a hundred core virtual machine, you cannot run JavaScript faster just because it has 100 CPUs. You still have to spawn 100 different processes which will run then in parallel. At the same time, if you look at languages like Rust or Golang, they have a concept of built-in parallelism that can effectively use all the available CPU with them. That does not mean that JavaScript itself is not performant because it supports concurrent execution like this where it can switch between tasks very fast. And if you combine it with the fact that you can run 100 instances of JavaScript on a 100 core machine and if you can load balance the tasks between them, you will get a great performance out of languages that don't support parallelism as well.